is Di here from Di's Den and welcome to the first day of Table Favour Week. Now if you're unfamiliar with Table Favour Week, Table Favour Week is the last full week, Monday to Friday that is, of November and obviously because this is day one of that, so this is a Monday and that is the week that I make a small project every day for you to pop on the table for Christmas Day. So today we're making this tiny box which measures four inches by two inches, I believe. Yes, two inches. And it's a great little box. It undoes with a bow on the top and it just flips open and you pop in there some little sweets or little goodies and just you pop them on the table. So it just makes a different approach to having a bonbon on the table. They're all done up with a little bow, which, yeah, really, I've got that pretty good. Like so. Now, we're going to be using this truck in a long set, which is actually um, carried over from last year. Uh, so it was a, in the mini catalogue last, last year, 2023. But it's now an online exclusive product. So we're going to be using this, so you can still buy all of this, you can still buy the punch, you can still buy the stamp set. So we're going to be using the words special delivery and these pieces here, the, the outline of the truck, the truck and the wheels. And then we're going to stamp, punch them out, punch them out. Now, because this is take number three, I have already done, because of my, my um, uh, memory card actually, was full so I only got quarter of the way through so I got to the end and I read well ready to do these bits and I realized I wasn't filming so I thought oh well never mind so I'm actually stamped in granny apple green and tuxedo black memento which I've already done as you can see so the truck is already done and so is the special delivery which are the words I'm going to be using so we, what we need, besides those bits, let's pop them there so you know, is a piece of card that measures 10 and 3 quarters by 4 inches. Then we need a piece of designer series paper that measures 3 and 7 eighths, which is very, very close in there. See? Bah, doesn't matter which way around you pop it. Um, by 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. Then we need, for our tag, we need a piece that measures one and three quarters by one and a quarter. And then for our white piece that we've already stamped, you need a piece of one and a half by one inch. And then for my stamped trunk, which I haven't punched out yet, this is three and a quarter by one and three quarters of an inch. I'm also going to be using these lovely um, embellishments called Real red and white adhesive backed peppermints. They do look like peppermints, don't they? And then I've got this. This is actually shaded spruce ribbon, and I think it goes all right with the green, that green. So we'll be using that, and we need about 22 inches of that. I haven't cut it off yet, so. All right, so let's pop those bits on one side because we've already stamped them ready. So let's pop them over there. And I've also already scored all of this. I finished scoring it and that's when I realised that I had actually run out of room on my um, whatever you call those things memory card. <laughs> they has flustered me so badly. So anyway we're going to score this along the long side at one and three quarters of an inch using the small ball. So one and three quarters three quarters one and three quarters, six, uh, five and three quarters, sorry, six and three quarters, and then we're going to turn it onto the short side, and we're going to score this at one inch all the way down, and three inches all the way down. Okay, we've got further than we have before, yay! <laughs> all right, so then we're going to bring in our scissors, and I actually prefer to cut mine before I uh, fold and burnish because I find it easier I can see where I'm going and we're going to start at the five and three quarter to six and three quarter mark and we're going to 
cut up those and notch those two in. And I'm going to turn all the way around and do it on the same on the other side. So we're going to cut up to there. Whoops, not my finger. And cut that in like so. Then we're going to turn it onto the side where I've got the three quarters of an inch and one and three quarter inches. And I'm going to actually cut those two squares on that side there away. Let's make that straight. That's better. No, it's not. There it is. Now it's better. And that's all the cutting we're going to do. All right, let's move all those. Oops, all those in the bin. Now we can fold and burnish all of these score lines. So. I'll do all my long ones first because I actually find it easier to do those ones first. There is no preference. It's, you know, like not that it makes a big difference which ones you do first. It's just easier for me. Okay, so we know that this lip is going to go in the inside of the box at the front, which means that this piece along here with straight edge is the front of the box. So we're going to pop this piece down to the bottom, this the tail piece down to the bottom, and we're going to add our designer series paper to this little piece here. So I'm going to use this side because I think if I use that side, it's just a bit too. There's no contrast, and I like a little bit of contrast. So we're going to do this side with the little reindeers on it, and that's going to fit in there. And it, there's hardly anything around the edges. So I'm going to pop that onto there. So we have to make sure that if we've got, like me, a, a pattern that is directionals, that it's in the portrait style. Okay. So once we've done that, we're now going to be able to glue these to the back of the box, not the front part, because we want to wrap those around to the back. Does that make sense? So we're going to pop some glue on these two little tabs. And we're going to glue them to the back of the box, making sure that that gets a lovely crisp corner right here on that bottom section. And the same on this side, so we've got a nice, nice square corner on both sides here. Let's hold, hold that for a few seconds. Okay, then we're going to pop the box down like so, so that we've got this open. And we're going to glue down both of these sides here. Now this makes the box fairly sturdy too, so which is very good because as much as it is only for Christmas Day and as a gimmicky thing on the Christmas table, it's nice that some people might like to take them home, especially if you're one of these people that does a big Christmas do with family. So we're going to pop that in, turn that right over the top like so, so that it folds nicely up against the back one. And then we can turn it over and do the other side so that it's nice and square. Once we're happy with that, we get our foam folder inside and push it down nice and tightly. And that's our box done like so. Alright, so this one I did actually do a different top to the last one, which I felt was better. So I like the way that pops in better. Okay, so that's our main box done. We're just going to make sure that that's nicely pushed down on the sides. There we go. We'll pop that on one side. And now we will glue our um, little tab tag onto the other piece. Let's get that out of the way. And pop that onto there. Line it up nicely. All right. Well, then we can 
um, punch out our little truck. Alright. Now we didn't want those other bits which are, I don't know what they are <laughs> for, but we didn't want those little bits. So we'll chop that bit in the bin and this is what we need. So we now need about 22 inches of ribbon so let's go 12 and 10 and chop a piece of ribbon off, I'll just cut kind of a little bit extra. And I don't need the glue anymore, so let's pop the pin in the glue. So it doesn't go funny. So we're going to place our ribbon over the box like so. Because we're actually going to pop this on with some dimensionals on the sides. So we want one on each side so that the ribbon pops through the middle of it. And we need to pop it at a reasonable height, but because we've got to put our little truck on there the same. And we're going to do that the same. We're going to pop two dimensionals onto the back of the truck so that he can, over, roughly over the wheels, so he can sit on the back of there. And again, just pull your ribbon up so it's flush in the middle and put the truck just below the words, like so, so that the ribbon can pull through easy enough so that you can tie it off. Okay, so for me, I like to get my ribbon around about the same length and then try and tie it off. And I'm not, not the best at tying bows. I'll tell you that now. It takes me a few times to get a bow right. There we go. Oh, I didn't do too bad at all, did I? I'm not going to cut them off because I want need to open it to put my little gifts in. So I'm going to pop this in to here and I'll pop these on here. And because this is only tiny, I'm going to use these small ones. I'm just going to put them on. There, like so. And that's our little project for today. That is Cable Fable Day 1, all done and dusted. Even if it did take me a few takes, I cannot believe that I ran out of space on my, my disc. But never mind. That's today's project. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd love to see if you make them. Please tell me what you would think you would fill them with. If you'd like the written tutorial for this, head down below here. You'll find this at my, my Facebook group called Die Stand for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. And you just have to join if you're not a member already. If you'd like to know more about these, this product, because this, these are all done with this paper here as, and, and the cardstock are all retired, but if, this one isn't. So if you'd like to know more about these products, and you'd like to purchase them and you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator, especially if you live in Australia. I can't help you in any other country, but I can put you on to somebody if you need that. And I will like to look forward to seeing you there, and I will see you all again tomorrow with Table Favour number two. Bye for now.